Hi, this is Tom Varsey, Military Embedded Systems here at Exponential in Chicago, uh, 2019, and I'm at the Prosagis booth with Sebastian. How are you, Sebastian? Hi, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, good, good. <laughs> so, uh, Sebastian and Prosagis have a really interesting display up here, and Sebastian's going to tell us all about it, and how it uh, affects the military industries and which industries use it. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, here what we're showing is Velocity, and Velocity is all about automation. So, it's a software platform to automate very large, uh, very large sets of geospatial data. So, you can say that we're obsessed by automation, and the point is we're finding, our customers are telling us that they have way too much data to be able to process uh, traditionally in traditional means. So, uh, we've known, we've been known for TerraVista for selling software and traditionally speaking, our users will, will get this data in and process it. But now they're asking us to automate fully to be able to, um, to uh, process large, large amounts. Hmm. So, here what we're showing is an example of a workflow or what we call a recipe. And um, we, it's a fusion, data fusion workflow where a base data set of an urban area, here it's Montreal, is being augmented and improved using a LiDAR scan. Mm. So for example, the data of the ground will be adjusted so that the ground will be corrected at the right, at the right level. And the height of the buildings, which were generated originally from OpenStreetMap data, are now accurate because of the LiDAR scan. And thirdly, what we do is we also classify using artificial intelligence uh, deep learning uh, algorithm. We classify the trees and we recognize the trees and we basically replace the data set, replace the cloud data with actual procedurally generated trees which are based off that recognized uh, LiDAR data set. Hmm. What parts of the mili military industry would be interested in the software then? Well, traditionally, we've been known for uh, training trainers. And trainers, you don't necessarily need to change the data. You change every so, every so often. But we find that the sweet spot in the military space is really mission rehearsal. Hmm. When you think of it, um, when the mission starts and when uh, your warfighter is training or rehearsing for a specific mission, he or she needs to get the full, the, the most accurate data to go on a mission. And that's not the time to start wondering how to build your database. So essentially, you build up your, your workflow beforehand, and when a mission is ready to go, you want to reduce the time between the freshest data that's coming in and when the warfighter can actually go off and train on, on that specific mission. Mm -hmm. So it's all about reducing the time between uh, for the production of the database. And that becomes critical. Great. So automation becomes critical for anything that has to do with real life operations rather than training. Okay. So booth 3000 at Exponential 2019 in Chicago if you're here at the show. Uh, Sebastian, how can people get more information about Presages? Well, just Google us. We have uh, a website that uh, has all kinds of really great videos. So www.presages.com and uh, they'll find everything there. All right. Thanks, Sebastian. Great. Thank you.